another video. It's JD here. All right, so this month we are still talking about who made you. And remind me one more time, guys, who made you? Yes, God made you. God made me and you, all right? So today we're going to say our memory verse and we're going to do the motions. But we're going to do it a little bit differently, all right? We're going to do it multiple times and we're going to do it a fun way each time, okay? So let's practice what our memory, our memory verse is and our motions. So, our memory verse is, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalms 139, 14, okay? So, the motions are, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalms 139, 14, all right? So, try with me, okay? I am fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalms 139, 14. All right, so let's say, let's do it a little bit differently this time. Let's say it really quietly, okay? I'm still gonna do the motions, but we're gonna say it really quietly, all right? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. All right, now we're gonna say it really loudly, okay? Here we go. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. All right, so let's try to say it with a really high voice, okay? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. Now, let's say it with a very low voice, all right? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. All right. This was so fun, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed doing this today. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Today. I'm just looking at my photo album 
It has so many great pictures of me and lots of places I like to go. Would you like to see them? Okay. This is me at my grandma's house. We are making her famous chocolate chip cookies using her secret recipe. Yum! My grandma lives so far away, we had to take a plane. Well, look at this one. This is the night before Christmas, right before bedtime. I was super excited for the next morning. I thought I was never gonna go to sleep. I just love looking at all these photos. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Looking at a book of pictures, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I just love looking at my photo album. It has so many pictures of me and all the places I love to go. Remembering where you've been is fun. It's true. I've got a story about all those places for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! Okay, these are all the places I've gone with the food truck. I went to the beach, I went to a campsite, and I was here in the city. And do you know what? No matter where I went, I always did one thing. Do you want me to tell you about it? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story! Each place I went was totally different, but there was one thing I did no matter where I went. Do you want to know what I did? I talked to God! It's true! I talked to God on the beach and at the campsite and in the city. We can talk to God anywhere. The Bible teaches us we can talk to God anytime, anywhere, about anything. Let's think about all the times we can talk to God. Okay, can we talk to God when we wake up in the morning? Yes! Can we talk to God at night before we go to bed? Yes! We can talk to God anytime. Daytime, nighttime, bath time, nap time, anytime. And do you know what we can talk to God about? Mm -hmm. Anything. Can you talk to God and tell him you're feeling scared when there's a storm outside? Yes. Can you tell God when you're sad, when your friends aren't being nice? Yes. You can always tell God when you're sad. What about when you're happy because it's your birthday and you're getting presents. Can you tell God about it? Yes! You can talk to God about anything. That is so amazing. I love that we can talk to God anytime, anywhere, about anything. And guess what? God hears us. And you know why? Because you, right there, yes, you. You are so very important to God, no matter where you are or what you're doing, whether you're loud or quiet. You can talk to God and he will hear you because you're important. God made you and loves you. Did you like that story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. You can talk to God, and he always hears you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Isn't that great? We can talk to God anytime, anywhere, about anything, and He always hears us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? 
If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I can talk to God when I'm at my grandma's house and when I'm at home. I can talk to God anywhere and he always hears me. You know what? How about I take a picture of you right where you are? You ready? Say cheese! Fantastic job, everyone! I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14.